Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Levine, and I'm a research fellow at the Center for International and Security Studies at Maryland. I teach in prison because education should always oppose and undermine violence. And you know, anywhere you see razor wire, you're seeing violence. For me, this project started with hearing Josh Miller talk about how to get yourself a pretty decent philosophy background for free online. Not through the new corporate online courses, but uh, just through podcasts and blogs and public domain papers people had put up as labor of love. And honestly, it made me a bit ashamed. I have the training that I have because of all sorts of contributions from all sorts of people and in institutions. My family, the GI Bill that sent one of my grandfathers in co to college to become a teacher, the free tuition at Cooper Union that let my other grandfather become a civil engineer. All the folks who keep the rest of the world running while I read interesting books and talk about them. And the taxpayers of the great state of Maryland who pay my current salary. If I don't see my education as a kind of public trust, I'm being a warning technical philosophical term coming up. I'm being a schmuck. So Josh and I started talking about how to get our teaching out of the ivory tower and bring it to more people. And we were lucky enough to find an opportunity to help build something in Jessup based on the work that Drew Leader had done there and folks like the Bard Prison Initiative and the Inside Out Partnership were doing elsewhere. So for me, prison is a special case of a place to teach that's beyond the ivory paywall of the university. But it's not just that. I love my students at Maryland. I expect them to all go on and do great things. But Restricting my teaching to people who can get into and afford to attend College Park while you make the walls and razor wire of prison freely available to anyone who qualifies is a kind of systematic violence. We could have a long argument about crime and guilt and law and such, but for me, that's the bottom line.